what up y'all welcome to the mono i don't know if we're doing mono brown we're gonna try to do mono brown because badger said you should do mono brown next and it's badger and he's basically a sponsor of the stream so i'm gonna take mock sapphire because it's probably the best uh mono brown card you can open other than like lotus or soul ring right it's probably third right tough first pick i agree i agree it was real uh could have gone either oh dang but well, then they're gonna give us a channel there's nothing even brown in this pack you stupid mono brown stipulation actually kozilek is probably pretty good right i mean if you're getting a bunch of artifact mana let's kozilek simmy simmy siggy oh simmy 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 siggy thirst for knowledge also pretty good but I'll take a Signet, because, you know, brown. Hmm. We're getting past channel and natural order, and I don't know what to make of it. Mono brown, mono brown. A sword is brown, but like we're not doing, I don't think we're doing it like take all the brown cards you see. I think we're just trying to build a deck that Thank you. is traditionally brown in nature. Badger with the 10 gifted subs, you maniac. Thank you, dude. Oh my goodness gracious. Thank you. I mean, I still think it might be the pick because if we get like Talarian Academy or Metalworker, like it's pretty good, right? Thank you. The problem is, like, we're not going to have a ton of creatures to equip, right? So I'm not, like, super stoked on it. Thank you. God, we have eight seconds. Fudge. Thank you. I'm going to take Yorion. Natural order? All right. I'm taking natural order because Badger said natural order. Oh, Mind Slaver. Thank you. Also, through the breach? Oh, man. We already have one Annihilator. How did we do last draft? We went 2-1, which I'm thank satisfied you. with. Badger, thank you for the gifted subs, buddy. All right. Badger said Breach, thank so I'm, I'm just going to follow Badger's... Oh, Thran Dynamo. Thran Dynamo is pretty good. Thank you. This is going to be part... So really, we're just getting... we got to figure out Natural Order, though. I want to put Natural Order in the side of because we need green guys. Thank both you. big and small. Thank you. Well, this pack is a doo-doo. I think Lightning Greaves is fine when you have things like Kozilek in the deck, or whatever we natural order into. Plus, again, Metalworker and Talarian Academy both benefit from random artifacts, so... I'm only offering suggestions. Yeah, the problem is when Badger offers suggestions and I don't take the cards like Elves, for example, he gets real sad. So listen, buddy. I'm just trying to make sure that... Not sad, angry. <laughs> hey, man, I'm not sad. I'm just furious. Good lord. I was going to buy a mini pie, but I ate some yogurt instead. That's probably a better choice. But I think the mini pie would have been better. Does that make, you know what I mean? I think sword is good. But again, I like tangle wire. I think we're just taking Tangle Wire. I don't, I don't want to take Tangle Wire. That's why I clicked it so fast. I'm like, I'm going to take this before I regret it, and I think we're just going to go in the deck, and we're going to tap things like Lightning Greaves and Tangle Wire, and we're going to come out ahead. Gruel Signet when we have Through and Natural Order so far? Get out of here. Relatively unexciting.
Yeah, Huntmaster's on color. It's a card we can cast. I wonder how the mini glass pies are. Castle Garenbrig, probably delicious. I can't imagine they're they're not delicious. And all I want is snacks. <laughs> Tangle wire is what happens when I take my brother fishing. Tang. Good thing your brother's not here. He'd be hurt. So this is like a teamer deck, right? With a bunch of artifact nonsense. Current and Badger are the same person. Two accounts. Mind Slaver. Alright, I don't know how good this artifact deck is so far. Cradger. <laughs> oh, RPG Bwit. Uh, Badger being in Australia makes it difficult for him to be on stream. No, Badger's never been on stream in, in real life. Also, I rarely fly people out. Usually they, they spend their own money. Oh, Mana Drain! It'll burn you through a hook. Mana Drain in the Artifact deck? Oh, we're taking that. Boy. Or have I? No. No, I haven't. Got my art thinking of turning the crate it came in into a frame for it. That actually seems pretty sweet. Oh my god. Tonos, that thing is humongous. Dude, that looks fantastic. For those for those uh, not not on stream currently, Tanos actually won the solemn sim the new solemn simulacrum art. Also, six skateboard bro. And um, this is a magic card for scale. It should be a solemn simulacrum to be fair, but I I still this is amazing. That looks so fantastic, dude. And it's so huge. That's incredible. I am... I'm going to take Frex and Metamorph. I am thrilled for you, my dude. God, I remember old Tanos who was like, I don't know if I want to spend the money on this original Tanos art. And now he's like, yeah, I'll spend five times as much on this Solemn Simulacrum. God, how times change. I'm going to take Euro. That card seems great. What if we get Crucible? I'm thinking of running LED lights on the interior, replace the foam with wood, cut a window. I, I think that's a great idea. I love some, I love some LED lights. Um, J. John, I have not had any issues with, with Twitch or PayPal. Balance seems good, but we ain't white. I ain't trying to be a third color. I think it's just Wall of Roots. It's unexciting, but it's fine. As far as I know, the largest card out. That is peak Tanos, my dudes. I'm going to take Progenitus because we have Natural Order. Is that Thank good? You. That seems good. Two Exodus. Oh, Fancy Art with the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. My name is Fancy A, and I have been a Frankaholic for 11 months now. I appreciate it. And I think that's just fine. Ooh, Rexage Lumbering Falls for the fixing or Wasteland.
Sage. Wreck. Sage. Damn it. Yeah, I think Wreck Sage is good. Stone Coil Serpent is nice. Phantasmal Image is Dece. I mean, we do have Mind Slayer, but I mean, Ruins might even come back. Bone Coil. That's inappropriate. Ooh, Acidic Slime. I like an Acidic Slime. We're still looking for things to shoot into play with this through the breach, other than Kozilek. Mm, Batter Skull's an artifact. Sure. Nothing else in here is that good. I'll take a gush, but I won't love it. Copper Line Gorge. All right. I'll take a Burning. Maybe we're a Burning deck. Oh, there's the Academy Ruins that we were ter terribly, terribly sad about passing. What did Ari, what did Ari Laxative say? It's probably something terrible. Sunny D goes great with Rumple Mints? I don't even know what that means. This is a very interesting 20 cards so far. Our deck is really strange. Yorion goes well with both Acidic Slime and Rex Age, and not so much Euro. Time Warp. Actually, I think it's just Volcanic Island. I really like Corset Portal, but... Last week I splashed some splashed some beer and it went perfectly through the vent hole on the top of my desktop in front. What? <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Thomas, I actually found that picture of you and I from Vegas the other day while I was looking through my, my I was like cleaning out old phone photos. So now it's saved on my computer. Oh, 225, 60 by 1600 displays. That's nice. Oh, we're not breaching progenitus. We're natural ordering progenitus. You know, if we put it in. I think it's Volcanic Island. Oh, now it's Wooded Foothills for sure. Oh my god, someone's someone's chewing their bony maroni back there. Thank you. J John with the gifted subs, man. Thank you, dude. I really appreciate it, my my boy. Well, Inky Thank you. Is Inky even good here? Like we through through the breach, Inky isn't great. Natural order we can't do. We don't have any way to really Thank you. accelerate into Inkwell Leviathan. Like, so I don't think Inkwell Leviathan actually does anything. Thank you. Oh, Tyga? Oh, treachery though? That treachery though. Thank you. Tooth and nail or treachery? I bet tiger wheels. No one cares about that. <laughs> Chromox on progenitus is pretty legit. I'll take Treachery. I think Treachery is stronger. Oh, man. We got Fast Bond, too. We could have Fast Bond and Wasteland and Strip Mine and Crucible. I still think it's Warm Power Stone here. Oh, Ugin? Ugin's a pretty nice payoff for a bunch of mana. I'll take an Ugin. I mean, we only have, like, two ways to sacrifice things to Natural Order. 
Breeding pool seems great. Sure, I'll breeding pool. We have through the breach? Oh, fuck yeah. And a stomping ground that may come back? No, it would be the last one. Metalworker is also real good. It's got to be Emrakul, though, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's got to be Emrakul. We have through the breach already. Golo seems pretty legit. Or resolve signet? Sure. Off color signet. All right, so right now I want to take out natural order and progenitus, also mind slaver. Not a huge repeal fan. I could care less about repeal. But I smelled the magic smoke when I tried booting a couple hours later. Like, yikes. Dude, that's the worst feeling ever. Because then you're like, is it all fried or can I salvage any of these things? Troubleshooting is like my least favorite thing to do. Yeah, I'll take Crucible. We did not see a Talarian Academy. Oh, Signet is decent. Not a bad shout, and at worst, it's Colorless Ramp. Are you talking about the Signet? Okay. I mean, the only reason we're not playing Natural Order is because we only have two, like, two to three creatures to sacrifice before turn four. Before turn five, actually, because Huntmaster is only, it can come down on four, so. Tooth and nail came back. Fascinating. Oh, I forgot we had this mox too. That's pretty legit. Yeah, I'll take Night of Autumn. Pelucranos is not terrible. Metalworker's last pick. What? What? Oh, wow. Oh, take Yorion out. Yorion doesn't have a ton of things to do here. Oh, wow. Probably take Lightning Greaves out. It's cute, but like, it's definitely 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 artifacts. Seems decent. Through the breach with two annihilators. Tooth and nail for these two fat daddies. Or even like an acidic slime or a golos is probably fine. Really cut Huntmaster. Maybe that's true. Actually, Greaves could be good because we're like tooth and nailing um, any one of these dudes into play or even like just casting them as. Yeah, all right. Huntmaster's fine. Oh, man. That was insane. This is... This is great. We need very few, like, color colors. Um, Yeah, we're just going to probably use one red because we have one, two, three, four, plus Gruel Signet is five. Five sources of red for one red card. Mm. Maybe six, actually. Green, we have six, seven, eight, nine... 10, 11. And blue, we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, this is 10, 10, like 6. This deck seems pretty sweet. 
I don't love orb just because you have to like really set it up correctly. Oh, I was not counting I'll draw. I don't think I was. Maybe I was. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Maybe I was. Self thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I mean, we play orb, but I don't really know what to cut. Like, non-artifacts are all very good. Yeah, I mean, Mind Slaver's a bit much. I could see cutting Rex Age because we still have Acidic Slime. But again, like, if you don't draw, like, a number of these, it's not great. I'm just going to play it like this. I think it's good. We breach an enemy every game anyway. What problem is? I guess there's none. I guess there's no problem whatsoever. Deck looks pretty sweet. Thank you. I'll keep this hand. It's a little slow, but... Kirkland Signature with a resub. Welcome back, my dude. I appreciate you. Oh god. Doo -doo -doo. I guess we could have just played 41. Keegan knows what's up. Oh! And we're still gonna play Signet here. One, two, three. We play this on four on turn five when we untap with it. Or we'll play this with four mana. On turn when we have five mana on tap with it, we'll actually have seven mana if we draw one artifact. Oh god, that's not what I wanted to play. Oh come on, magic. Literally would never happen. Oh god, that was so bad. Just literally misclicked. It was clicked on the wrong dude. Yep, that was a punt. All right. Let's make sure we memorialize it in the in the chat. Just running out Rex Sage is so reckless. <laughs> okay. See, it didn't matter anyway. Now the opponent will think you're daft. <laughs> Mm, well, at least we have a red source now. Yeah, it's definitely a trap. I agree with you. There's definitely times where I'm like, 
Actually, this is hilarious because we have treachery. Oh my god, they're going to win most slam Emrakul and then we're going to treachery it back. And then we're just going to hope they don't have a way to steal it back, I guess. I don't really want more lands. And I do want a red source, so here we are. I can't do that. I can't actually treachery. It's got pro colors. Yep, that's pretty bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's pretty rough. All right. Well, for some reason I'm thinking like Oblivion Ring. Okay, cool. It's an effect, but it's it's an aura. So, yeah, you can't do that. That was fun. See, now I'm bringing in Winter Orb because I don't think you're a fun person. Tristani is interesting. Denmark, Rex Sage did not win the game, unfortunately. I mean, on the bright side, neither uh, Rex Sage would not have saved us in any position in that game, so. All right, well. See, that's why we wanted to hold that. While I'm here and you haven't done my critique yet, do you feel it's worth playing some Yurion in the main as well? I don't know. I don't know. Probably because we're just blinking good value creatures. Also, with Modern having like bans every other week, like it's really kind of weird. You could have had a tiger, but you didn't. Now you're holding the back. Don't count a metal worker, don't swords him either. Yep, never, never don't have that. That's cool. A few hundred people doing yoga. 
Yikes. I mean, through the breach next turn would be pretty nuts. If we're able to hit one land, maybe tap out for something dumb. Well, it's a little bit better just because now they have six permanents to four, but it's still a Kozilek. I guess a fifth land was the lot to ask for. A fourth land, rather. I guess I was really pushing it. It's my own fault, really. I only have two more signets and mocks and a 13 more lands. Yeah. Copying Signet seems so bad, especially when they're going to have another Gideon token and another land. Like, this turn was great for Breach, but next turn is actually significantly worse for Breach, because they'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, at least 8 permanent. So they get to keep, like, all 4 of their lands if they want, or basically just Breach and get rid of a Gideon. I mean, not to say we still won't do it, but it's not. I don't think it's worth, like, spending a whole turn to make 1 Signet. You got it. I mean, if they don't have a land here, it's actually... We're looking up. Oh, and they didn't make a guy. Alright. Well. Okay. Well, they are going to hit a land here. So... They didn't hit a land. It's real amazing. Real amazing. <coughs> what have you done to make magic hate you so much, buddy? I wish I knew. <laughs> Clark, the copper line gift is the gift that keeps on giving the whole year long. It's a subscription to the Jelly of the Month Club. <laughs> this is a turn they give a cryptic or something. Yeah, and then we just lose. They're like, attack you for seven. Cryptic, attack you for seven. And I'm like, Sounds good. I lost to one Gideon and having uh, Sword and Plashers on Metalworker every game. So, that's good. That it is, Edward. That it is. <laughs> Shitter's full. Oh, man. Oh, it's an Elspeth, too. So, like, here's the funny thing. Like, even if we actually Emrakul, they just get rid of all their lands. And then they kill us. I guess we could attack this. Then they go sack one, two, three, four. Still kill us. Yep. Couple turns too late. I mean, I, 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 feel, like, I feel like I actually have a good chance of winning my matches if, uh... You know, I actually get to play Magic the Gathering with my opponent, but, you know, that's not really, it's not really what Magic is about, guys. Magic the Gathering as a game is not about playing the game. 
It's about giving everyone the chance to win through a resource system that is inconsistent. So. Good times. And we have a Mox and like three Sigmets in the deck, so it's really nice when you don't get any like any plays before turn three. What do you think about the Forest Gump remake? I haven't seen anything about that, so we'll say not much. We don't think much about it. Can't both have a deck and win. Too much to ask for. It's true. This is my attempt to have fewer lands in my deck. Let's see you counter this Tangle Wire. I'm watching. Oh yeah, mana drain me. Spell Pierce? Sure. I didn't even want the Tangle Wire. Holy shit, Jimbo the Sarcophagus, this is gold. This is solid gold. Oh man, that is incredible. I'm trying to show you guys, but this is a stupid page that's not letting me save the images on the fucking page. Yep, that's, I love, I love pages like that, dude. So I'm gonna take a screenshot of it. Oh yeah, download it. Perfect. Nice. This is this is what <laughs> that's, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Stone coil serpent for three. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna throw in dynamo here though, because I'll rather I'll take three and have Eight mana next turn. Oh, if we draw Mox, we can just Tooth and Nail for Emrakul Kozilek. Oh, yeah. Has bro. More like has sis, am I right? I, you know, I'm not sure if you are if you are right. That's a good question. high tide well guess I'll die Cool. I am dead inside. Uh, couldn't we have done what? If this was a TV, a reality TV series, it would be canceled due to lack of believability. I agree with you. The odds that my first and second round opponent both bribery me to get Emrakul. It's almost a little too much to take. They're my cookies and I want them now. 
Oh, we had eight mana, not nine mana. And Tooth and Nail doesn't really do anything because we didn't have Tristani in the deck at the time. So, like, there's no real creatures we can get out of our deck that are going to give us back our own Emrakul. I mean, if we put Emrakul in the sideboard, they still just have Kozilek. I mean, it's still... It's not Emrakul, but it's still... <clears throat> It's still going to destroy us if we don't have very specific answers. Is that better than Euro here? One, two, three, four, five, six. We don't have anything to really ramp into here. I'd rather have the extra card. I uh, We can just play it next turn. Ah, this is tricky. So we play this, we have five mana next turn. If we play this, we have potentially six mana next turn. Yeah, I could have had a biscuit. Cool. Okay. Well, next time we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 mana. So, cause like one time. I feel like I've earned it, right? Just incredible. This has been fun. This has been a fun series of games. So, three out of four games so far, I have been briberied for Emrakul. Cool fucking card. I've lost three out of four games to Emrakul. The other one I lost to Gideon and not being able to draw lands to cast through the breach. So, similar but different. mistake <laughs> how many times does job say i've made a huge mistake in that show i found two clips already so have <sighs> fun i want to be like unlikely Joe makes lots of huge mistakes, so a lot. It's very true. Yeah, three out of four games I have been briberied so far. So, I don't know. I guess I wanted to. I guess I could have expected to win those. But I don't. So, that's my bad. Pernicious dude, thank you for the resub, nerd. Appreciate you, my dude. Uh, I'm actually going to play Orzhov Signet here because we want to be able to... 
if we play this now, we're going to have to use it for the Orzhov signet, and then the only signet we'll have to activate will be the Simic signet, or the, the Orzhov signet. So I'd rather be able to activate this next turn and use it. I've been here for so long. That, hey, buddy, it was only six minutes ago. And it was probably a time where I was getting emrakul by my own emrakul. How many artifacts must... Oh, and before next turn they go Lotus Bribery. Unfortunately, in no way, shape, or form does Ugin ever clear an Emrakul. Literally never. <laughs> well, there you go. Three, four, five. So we have six mana, and now we have an eight mana, a nine mana, a five mana, and a 15 mana spell. So, that's pretty good. It is a lot of high class cards, you are not kidding. Well, they're not doing anything. Two, three, four, five, six. I mean, I think my, like, if I, I'm playing this because they could just as easily kill any one of these, but also because if they have, like, Mind Twist and they want to get rid of my whole hand, I guess now they can do that next turn. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, one more mana, we can... Oh, wait, we can actually just... Do we just Tooth and Nail here to put, like, Emrakul into play? Is that... And then, watch, they're gonna go, like, Lily... Are they have seven cards in hand? Seems not great. But, I mean, it could just win, so... I don't think it's good. I don't, I don't think it's good. I think we're going to wait. It's a 7 mana Emrakul, but like they have, four, they have 4 mana and 7 cards in hand. I'd rather them tap out for something. So I'd rather play this and I'd rather be able to Tooth and Nail, like, with Entwine. Oh, wow. Well, that's fascinating. Hmm. Angrass Rampage? Um... Katie's leaving work now, and Michael should be leaving work relatively soon as well. Or getting home soon? I don't even know. The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, I guess we're just dead here. It's all making sense now. Thank you. I should have just played the Emrakul. Nuke, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Alright, five. We do have a Kozilek, so if they try to brain freeze us, it's pretty good. 
Fingers crossed for Brain Freeze. They have two cards in hand. You think one of them is going to be a Time Spiral? Now it is. I guess we're just dead. This was a cool game. I mean, all you need is one blue for a brain freeze. Landland land, Impulse Bargain. Bargain will probably do. That won't. Land. Gifts Ungiven. Land. Land. Thousand Year Storm. Cool. Now the whole world can see me fumble. Now you're doing fine. <laughs> oh, Impulse lets them see their whole deck, so... I mean, if they don't have tendrils, like if they if they are trying to brain freeze us for the win, then that's pretty good. Oh, Katie, my love, are you heading home? Are we gonna are you gonna join the stream soon with Michael B? I think I see a, a dead spider on the ground. I'm gonna use my phone to zoom in on it. I'm gonna, find, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Oh yeah, that's a crawly boy. I think it's dead. Could be alive. Could just be a live spider. Wait, they only have one mana. They only have two mana though, right? So... This is an interesting... I mean, their deck has to be... They have to... Oh, they also only have three like three cards in their deck. They have like two cards in their deck after these impulses. They have no cards. <laughs> okay. Wait, no, they're, they're putting them back. They have two cards. I was correct. Are the legs curled up? It looks like they're curled up, which is why I thought he was dead. But but he could be alive. And I could just be missed seeing it, so... Look at our hand. Treachery, Tooth, and Nail, Emrakul. Oh, there we go. That's the third land. That's the third mana, rather. I don't know what's going on here. Red? That's a lot of mana. <laughs> this is a lot of mana. I mean, I guess if they have, like, Banefire, then we're dead, right? So. And we see Expansion Explosion over here. Are they playing two X spells? I don't know. Oh, God, watch it go down one by one. Yes! <laughs> I think that's probably going to do nothing. Oh, man. This is why you don't concede against Storm, my dudes. Oh, this is... 
This is 12 copies of Brain Freeze with 16 copies each. I really hope they just concede when they see the, the Kozilek in the deck. But, uh, alright, here we go. Let's pop these graveyards out, make it nice and even. Nah, I just pop ours out. They get to see our whole deck most likely, but... It is blowing in the wind. There's Kazi. <laughs> Try again. And now they're going to be like, Welp, I guess that's the end. They also have 35 red mana floating. 34 red mana floating. They're going to use one of it. What? Wait, what? Why would... Classy. It makes sense. It's just absolutely frustrating. It's fucking infuriating. Yeah, but they're Storm. Like, they're never going to need their full clock. And the games are going to go quickly because once they have it, they have it. So I'm not super concerned with them, like, running out of time. I feel like Mind Slaver's a little too slow. If we get to six mana, then get to untap with a Mind Slaver, like, we're probably already winning that game. I mean, he said no, don't worry. Like, he has no incentive to ghost. Like, if someone says they're not ghosting, I'm just going to take them at their word. It's frustrating. I almost kind of want just Night of Autumn. That's something, I guess. Actually, yeah, we can get a... Yeah, we can get a Volcanic with that. Oh, we should have just played Island first. That was bad. But... Alright, so... Three out of four matches... Three out of four games we have been uh, briberied. One out of five, three out of five games we bribery. One out of five games we've been stormed out. So, yep, that's exactly why we should have played the land first. <sighs> Whatever. And I, by the land, I mean island or gotten volcanic. But I think we'll still be fine. This is still early. Yeah, I don't care about that. I kind of actually just want to kill this, to be honest with you. Did we take Treachery out? Yeah, we took Treachery out. Took something else out, too. No, we didn't. I think we just kept... Uh... Yep, let's get that. Next turn we can Wall of Roots and Mana Drain, which should definitely let us Ugin the Spirit Dragon, but... It's weird that Ugin's kind of slow. Boop, 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 boop. 
man i'm really wondering if we like just turn seven em turn turn f turn whatever turn five four emrakul would have just been good enough last game you know One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I kind of feel like just using Wall of Roots here, but I don't think it makes a difference really, unless they have like spell appears. One, two, three, four, five, six, still doesn't matter. Yeah, we also had no indication that they were a storm deck, which is a problem. So they could have any number of cards that just invalidate our our Emrakul. Like, like Liliana of the Veil, Liliana's Triumph, Ravenous Chupacabra, Necrotal, Bone Shredder, like... The list goes on and on. Sower of Temptation, Oblivion Ring. No, I guess not Oblivion Ring. That's not a that's not a Grixis card. Okay, well they're not doing anything here, which is nice. I mean we're definitely running Metamorph out here and just trying to kill them in two turns. They go to eight. Having double batter skull seems nice. Having a metamorph we can just bounce back to our hand is also not bad. Actually, sweet mono bees, bum bum bum, zoop up to up to be do. Oh, that's rude. Oh, wow. And of course, I've only drawn two blue sources this game. Wow. <sighs> I just fucking can't with this whole draft, dude. Holy shit. That's incredible. Like, this is the only turn we get anyway, right? Like, so this actually, if they needed that card, they don't get it, so. So I guess we're just going to hope we don't lose. And I should have kept the counter because they have Mana Flare. So, irony, guys. Irony. I'm gonna let the boys out. All right, what do you want, a cookie? Yeah. yeah. I'm just like so irritated right now. Like, this is the most miserable draft I've done in a while, and I think our deck was actually pretty sweet. We had multiple combos. Cool. Awesome. Sweet. Yep, that'll do. That's the fucking sweet spot right there. Of course, you gotta hit Thousand Year Storm. I mean, having a single counter for Thousand Year Storm would have definitely stopped them. 100%. But I get what you're saying. Like, we don't know that, but still. Oh, 
fucking amazing. We didn't win a goddamn game. That was amazing. I had a great time having th three out of four, three out of six matches. My opponent briberied me. Uh, two out of six matches, I got stormed out. And uh, what are you gonna do? Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Make sure you to press press F in the in the in the comment section to pay your respects. Uh, you can uh, support me, which I, I desperately need at this this moment by uh, you know subscribing to manatraders.com which has an amazing subscription service for uh for magic online cards and uh you can use the promo code uh rat train as long as and as well as a link below to get 20 percent off the first three months of any subscription and um be sure to follow subscribe and uh slam those like and subscribe buttons and uh, i'll see you i'll see you later thanks for watching guys thanks for watching